Ladies and gentlemen, what is going on, people? Good morning to you all. It's your boy Ryan here. Got some PlayStation news for you. I know, kind of early, but uh, I got to get this out here before I go to sleep. Did not sleep last night. I know, it's insane. Uh, what's going on, though? I got some PlayStation news for you. Uh, let's go ahead and start with this Assassin's Creed real quick. Apparently, Assassin's Creed Origins on PlayStation 4 Pro and Xbox One X, comparison-wise, they look pretty much identical. With that being said... That kind of make that's kind of funny because last time I checked, didn't uh, Microsoft get a deal with these guys? Yeah, listen to this. We already know that the Xbox One X version of Assassin's Creed will not run at native 4K on the new machine. With that being said, didn't they say running in true 4K in the trailers? Yet they're saying it's not going to run in native 4K. You know what that says, ladies and gentlemen? That says dynamic 4K. 30 frames per second. There you go. The Xbox One X is nothing more than a PlayStation 4 Pro, only a little bit better, a tiny bit better. That is it. It's the exact same thing. And you know what's sad? They're charging you $500 for it, while Sony, on the other, on the other hand, is charging, was it, 400 Yeah. That kind of makes sense. Kind of makes sense. So much for that 4K60 uncompromised. Yeah, that goes out to 1 to 100%. But hey. That just goes to show, people. Goes to show. Let's get into some other good news here on the other side here. Cause that's just pretty funny. Uh, Spider-Man. The game is uh, four to six times bigger than Sunset Overdrive. Oh, my. And, you know, I actually believe that. In that gameplay, the city was massive, and it looked dope. So, that was awesome. Uh, what did he say? Uh, Spider-Man will be huge. Speaking of PlayStation trophies and Sonic games, uh, community director James Stevenson confirmed the size of the map would be that much bigger than uh, the exclusive, uh, Xbox exclusive that was um, <clears throat> such an overdrive. Uh, completely free roaming, meaning you'll be able to utilize the physics-based uh, web slinging and swing to your heart's content. That is awesome because that web swing was definitely on point in, in that uh, gameplay. Cannot wait to play this game, man. Uh, as far as the uh, PS4 Pro boost, uh, the news follows on the interview. Uh, PS4, PS4 system architect Mark Cerny uh, did with uh, PlayStation Sid Schumann a number of days ago. Uh, where he delved into what a, uh, what sort of uh, PS4 Pro enhancements we can expect from place uh, from the Spider-Man. I think we already seen that. Uh, he showed checkerboard, and we show and he showed more textures on the sh uh, on the suit, like the fabrics, and we saw more like reflection in the uh, reflectors in his eyes. I think that's what he done, but I'm gonna re read this. Um, they're Insomnia Games using a forward-looking technique called uh, temporal. Well, what? Is it temporal? Yeah, temporal injection that lets uh, them efficiently support 4K displays. Uh, dis the display buffers they're using are uh, 2160, so it's full on 4K, and they can then scale down those buffers to create very clean and high quality graphics for 1080p HDTV owners, he said. So, Cerny went on to, to stress, however, that Insomniac Games' number one focus is on gameplay innovation more than anything else. That's awesome. So, hopefully, uh, we get some good frame rates out of this. That's good. I don't know. We didn't really get a confirmed frame rate for this game. Hopefully, it's, it's good. Uh, he continued, I don't want to diminish uh, in any way. Uh, what they're doing for the pro is great, but their number one focus is on gameplay innovation within the Spider-Man universe. For example, how does Spider-Man fight? Certainly with his uh, incredible speed and agility, of course. His webs, this, uh, there is a p the potential for a whole different uh, style of combat that you've uh, ever seen before. So there you go. There you go. That is awesome. I cannot wait to see more from this game. This game was absolutely amazing when we saw it live. It was dope. And I want to see. I want to. I want to hear more about the demons. You know, the characters in there, like the little enemies. I want to see more about them. Uh, let's see. Okay. Um. Okay. So Microsoft uh, commented about Sony blocking crossplay between PlayStation Four users and Xbox One users. Now I'm gonna tell you right now. If we did a lot of this feature. Expect the fanboy shit to get even worse. I, I can tell you, versions like Crap Gamer would just be in more podcasting. So what do you think about the statistics saying that Xbox One gamers are better at games than PlayStation, guys? I guarantee that would have been like that. So keep that in mind. That's just one less headache for us. But they talked about it, and I'm going to go down. Uh, there we go. 
I would love players on all platforms to stay connected. Uh, connected, Spencer said. The fact that somebody would make an assertion that somehow uh, we're not keeping, we're not keeping uh, Minecraft players safe. I found uh, not only from Microsoft perspective, but an industry perspective. I don't know why that has to become the dialogue. That doesn't seem healthy for anyone. We can always do better than with anything we do. I find the whole discussion around safety with our game and that somehow we wouldn't take that as a top priority. And frankly though, our parental controls on Xbox Live and everything else that we've done shown that that's incredible uh, that's incredibly important to us as a platform so there you go yes yeah, so that's their comment on it um there you go i mean honestly this is one less headache in general but when it comes to the fanboys of youtube so real let's just uh let's just move on <laughs> let's really just move on uh just right here uh sony explains why it blocked playstation 4 crossplay with xbox one and we'll show you that right here let's see uh, staying the reasons why they decided to block it, referring to Minecraft and Rocket League. Oh yeah, I definitely would have wanted. I definitely would have liked that on Rocket League, but uh, how's they blocked it? All right, let's go down. It's certainly not a profound uh, philosoph uh, philosophical uh, stance we have against this. We've done it in the past. We're always open to conversations with any developer or publisher. Who wants to take a talk about it? Unfortunately, it's a commercial discussion between ourselves and other shareholders or stakeholders, and I'm not going to get into that detail of that on this particular instance. And I can see your eyes rolling, Jim Ryan. We've got to be mindful of our responsibility to our install base, Minecraft, the demographic playing that. You know as well as I do, it's all ages, but it's also very young. We have a contract with people who when, who go online with us that we look after them and they are within the PlayStation curated universe. Uh, universe exposing what in many cases are children to external influences. Or yeah, we have no ability to manage or look after. It's something we have to think about very carefully. And he said again. I don't think anything is uh, ever a done deal. Anybody who is dogmatic in that manner is typically a fool. That said, to my knowledge, there is n uh, there is no li live conversation ongoing at the moment. So there you go. That's what Sony had to say about that whole situation. Why it blocked it. Obviously, they want to keep their network safe. They want to keep their players safe. And um, they don't want no compromises, such as, uh, you know, people having shit obviously they do have it if you play rocket league now let's say we did have crossplay um if you play rocket league when we go when you go against pc it says side net next to their name and then it'll say uh their actual name name like it'll say let's say their name was my name it'll say side net ryan 553298 you know what i'm saying it would say their names so for microsoft it'll probably say xbox it'll say xbox one or xbox or xb uh one or xb L for Xbox Live, and it'll say, I don't know, something like Phil Spencer, Marco, or something, you know, but um, honestly, I think they could make that work, Microsoft's smart with their service, and uh, Sony's uh, doing, has done good with their service, so I can see they, I can actually see them making that work, however, obviously, it's just that problem emerging all three, now, Microsoft is already completely merged with PC, so it should be the same thing, the question is, though, obviously, the branding, and how would you tell which one apart, because you don't want it to say Signet, you know what I'm saying, you want it to say either PlayStation, Xbox, or then, and then PC, and that would be pretty cool if you had PlayStation, PC, and Xbox on one team going against somebody else mixed, you know what I'm saying, there's a lot of possibilities for that, I'm actually open to it, but again, I don't see it happen. And that's something I would like to see, but, I mean, just might not happen. Now, this one right here is kind of sad. Now, remember, remember the discussion at E3. A lot of Xbox fanboys said Microsoft showed the most, and they had the most. I'm going to tell you something. Those are third-party games. Those games are on other platforms, and people are in denial. So, this right here is, has been posted by this website. This isn't something that I just made up. It's been put up by this website, going off of E3 and everything that we uh, have and we're waiting on, okay? And there's a few other games on this list that we uh, gamers are still waiting on because we still haven't gotten announcements like Sucker Punch's game, uh, 
uh, what's that guy's uh, from software's IP, vice versa. So I'm gonna go down this list here. This is the exclusive list versus the Xbox One. So it's PS4 exclusives versus Xbox One exclusives. Uh, this is for 2017. All right. So here's the full list: games, DLC, or indie games. Uh, it's 2017 PS4 games that are already released. I want you to look at this. So that's already released. We got Gravity Rush 2, Tales of Bersia, uh, Bersia, uh, Bersia Neo, Persona 5, Horizon Zero Dawn, uh, Danganronpa uh, 1 through 2 Reload, MLB The Show, Yakuza, Near Automata, Parappa the Rapper Remastered, Loco Oroko Remastered, and coming in 2017, Crash Bandicoot, which comes out this month, Nino Kuni. Uh, I think that come actually no, we didn't get a release there for that. Hellblade, we got YS8, Matterfall, which comes out in August, if I'm not mistaken, that was right, August. Hidden Agenda, uh, not a release date for that, I don't think. Uh, Yakuza, Kiwami, uh, Patapon Remastered, GT Sport, NAC2, that comes out in September. Uh, next, uh, Mechina, Everybody's Golf, that also comes out in September, no, that doesn't come out in September, that comes out in October. Uh, Final Fantasy XII Remastered. Uncharted The Lost Legacy, that comes out in August. Lawbreakers, that's the Xbox game from Cliffy B. Undertale, Gundam Versus. So those are the games that are coming in 2017. So overall, you got 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8, 9, 10, 11, 12, 13, 14, 15, 16, 17 games coming in 2017 versus 1, 2, 3, 4, 5. And that's Halo's, Halo Wars 2, Crackdown 3, Cuphead, Super Lucky Tail, and Forza 7. So 17 titles versus five titles on Xbox One. Ouch. And uh, you can't really damage control that. You still you can't damage control that, man. So there you go. No fanboyism. That's just it's written in stone right there. And uh, not much I really need to say. That says it all for itself, right? Right. So, uh, again, good morning to all of you. Um, if you're new, subscribe to the channel. Shout out to all my new subs. Welcome to the family. Appreciate you. Uh, the goal is right now is try to get to 200 subscribers. My goal at, at the moment in general, my, my big goal is 1,000 subscribers. But 200, we're almost there. Let's see if we can get that uh, pretty good. You guys have been awesome on the likes. Thank you guys again. Make sure you like this video. I appreciate you guys so much. And um, I'll see you guys later, all right? Hit, uh, if you're new here, hit the subscribe button, hit the bell icon so you know as soon as my news comes available. Yes, I upload daily, so you will see me a lot. So, trust me, it's a, definitely a big investment. <laughs> I'll see you guys later. You guys be good. All right, deuces.